you said, how did you feel like everything went out there today, just working through the drills, meeting with scouts, coaches, all that? Yeah, I felt like today went really well. Um, it's an exciting day uh, for all the guys who can come out here and show their talents, uh, especially the guys who didn't get invites at the combine. Uh, my goal today was just come out here and look good, look like I'm just staying in shape, looking like a great athlete. Uh, I felt like I did that today. I saw Aaron Curry was working you through some drills. What kind of feedback was he giving you? What was the kind of time that he took there? Yeah, he's, he's a tremendous coach. Me and him met this morning, uh, broke down some film, talked some football, uh, and just really just giving me good advice, you know, staying hydrated, being myself, having good technique, don't be out of control, just different things like that just keep me going throughout the day. So you know a little bit of everything. Can scouts talk about where they want you to line up those good for you? Yeah, I mean, primarily I played the weak side linebacker. Um, I can also play the mic backer and the strong side backer as well. Um, that's mainly the conversations that I've been having moving on to the next level. What's sort of been the hardest part of this whole process? Um, I say the hardest process is probably just the repetitiveness, uh, meeting with a lot of teams, you know, just talking about yourself, uh, going over a lot of film and different things like that. Just it's, it's very repetitive. Uh, but this is a business. This is the next level. Uh, this is something I've drilled for since a child. So if this is what it takes, this is what it takes. What have you learned about yourself that you, maybe you didn't know going into all of this? Um, you know, I think I learned, you know, to just trust the process more um, and, and really fall in love with the grind. You know, I think early on I just wanted like draft day to come um, and different things like that. But I think uh, the more I got into it, the more I kind of fell in love with just enjoying the process, you know, because you don't get these times back. Is there any linebacker you watched growing up that kind of a, a model over here? So, if you know anything about me, I actually played receiver growing up. <laughs> uh, so, I was a huge Julio Jones fan when I was growing up. Um, I wore 11 in high school, that's why I wore it. Um, Defensive-wise, I was a huge Troy Powell model fan when I was a kid, too. So no specific linebacker growing up, but now today my favorite linebacker is Fred Wilson. Being a, a, a Molly fan, is there any part of you know meeting with this team Aaron Curry today is a little bit surreal after watching Troy growing up? Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a little bit surreal. Like, that was my favorite team when I was growing up. Um, a huge fan of Mike Tomlin, so it's, it's definitely a, an encouraging moment to meet with the Steelers and, and to get good feedback from them. I know my team wasn't here today, but have you talked with him at all with any other points in this process? Yeah, I've talked with him at the senior bowl, so it was a big conversation to have with him. Somebody that I looked up to since I was a kid, so it was definitely good, good to meet him. The, the 704 has really showed out in, in the draft in recent years. How proud are you to be part of that tradition and, and add to it? Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud to uh, come from Charlotte. We have a lot of talented guys that come out of Charlotte. Definitely the best football that's being played in North Carolina at the high school level. Um, so just glad to be a part of that group, glad to represent my city well, and to be able to be the next Charlotte guy to kind of come out and put on. Speaking of the, the group coming out of Charlotte, I mean, not even just here, but kind of the pro days all across North Carolina, a lot of Charlotte. How much have y'all leaned on each other throughout this process? Yeah, we've we leaned on each other, each other tremendously. Uh, you know, just starting with Drake, you know. Like I said, I played wide receiver in high school. Drake was my 7 on 7 quarterback. Uh, so I've known him for, for a very long time. Um, you know, one of my uh, high school teammates, his name is Malik Mustafa. He was at Wake Forest. He had his pro day the other day. Uh, we were with each other, training with each other in Florida. Uh, so it's just been a, a, a great process to see some of the guys that I said that I'm familiar with, guys I grew up with. You know, and just to see all of us grow into to what we've become today, and now we're all preparing for the NFL. It's truly amazing. Said you talked about playing wide receiver in high school. Was there a specific moment at Carolina where, you know, as you transi transitioned to do a linebacker, where you were like, I think I can play at the next level. Like, I really think I can do, can do this. Was there a specific game or practice or moment where you kind of felt that or remember thinking that? Yeah, I'd probably say my first start. Mm -hmm. uh, my first start was third or fourth game in the season my sophomore year versus Virginia mm -hmm. uh, and I just like when the game like finally cut on and I finally stepped out there and really played significant minutes um, something just triggered for me 
and I felt very, very comfortable. And I, I, that was probably the moment where I was like, I could definitely do this. Yeah, so the next steps just continue to meet with teams, uh, you know, have intelligent football conversations, uh, stay in shape, um, obviously getting football ready for rookie minicamp, uh, just prepare for the draft, see, see where everything takes us.